Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this episode I want to talk with you about the 10 things that I use most when I do my epoxy resin projects. Thing number one is this plastic wrap. I find it very useful in many situations. If you have a leaking cob you can wrap it around. If you're doing a knot on a piece of wood you can wrap it around. Even if you don't want it on your table you can wrap it around the table on your weight you can use almost everything because it's cheap it comes in handy and epoxy doesn't stick to it and it's quite strong you see so that's one of the things that i always almost always use in my epoxy resin projects number two on my list is a heat blower okay i use the one with gas but you can use the one with electricity the most important thing is that you have something that produces some heat so you can burn off the bubbles that comes in your epoxy. That is very important to have too. Electricity or gas, it's up to you or anything else, but you need something to burn away the bubbles. Number three on my list is a thermometer. I like to measure the temperature both in the room and next to my project. Epoxy need to stay need to be epoxy need to be set in the right temperature to cure. Depends on what brand you're using, the cure can be different. With my brand, it goes from 20 to 25 degrees, so this is comes very handy too. So I am sure that I always have the right temperature. If the temperature is too low, it will cure too slow. If the temperature is too high, it will cure too fast and maybe turn yellow. So Make sure you got the right temperature when you're doing your projects, or at least around your projects. Number four on my list is a one-time use cup, like this. Just a little plastic cup. And I know it, don't say it, let's not talk about the environment. Of course, this one is not good for the environment, I know it, and I use a lot of them, so I'm a bad man, I know that. I should be using reusable cups, but there's one issue with the reusable cups that they need time to cure before I can clean them. And if I want to do more than one project at the day, then I'm kind of stuck. So that's why I'm using this one. I can have around 100 to 150 grams in a cup like this. And I can do multicolors if I want to. And when I'm finished, I throw them out. So yes, not good for the environment. I know it, but I'm very pleased to use them. And I use them quite often or almost every, every time. Number five on my list is a screwdriver. I like the small ones, most likely because they are not so big and they're good in the hand. I have this little one from Ryobi and um, you can use a big one too if you want that. But if you don't have this, if you don't have a great workshop with lots of space or maybe you're just doing it in your home, uh, and storing the things in a little box or something, then this little piece comes very handy. And in fact, it goes with my number six on the list, a blade drill mixer like this. And together they are an amazing couple. I can even mix a bottle of five kilograms with this one. Even though it's so small, it has enough power to do that. Or I can use it in my small cups. Whoops, just like this. And the best thing about this one, and the best thing about this one is that it's made of HDPE plastic, which means I can peel it off um, after a day or two. Or if I want to do another project, another color, uh, I can just clean it instantly and it's ready for use again. So this one is reusable and together they are an amazing couple. Number five and number six on my list. Number seven on my list is gloves. Always remember to use gloves when you're doing epoxy projects. Your epoxy projects. You see, it's just a simple one time use again. I know it, I know it. But I just don't want to get epoxy on my fingers. If you get it on your finger, it's, it's kind of sticky and it's hard to get off even if you do if you even if you go wash them and stuff like that and another thing to consideration is that epoxy particles are so small that they can get into your skin into your bloodstream and travel around 
So, and like I said before, I'm not a doctor, but I think it's a bad thing. So, I always use gloves when I'm doing epoxy. I never touch epoxy without any gloves. Number eight on my list is these HDPE plastic pieces that I have. It's just some off cuffs from when I was making my molds, but epoxy doesn't stick to it. So every time I have something that I'm gonna clamp down, I'm using this as a spacer. I put them in between, uh, so I'm sure that I don't get epoxy on my clamps. They, they come very handy. I got like a hundred of them or something, so they are very handy too because you almost always have in something that you want to clamp down. Number nine on my list is this DIU HDPE reusable, again reusable, malls that I made. <clears throat> They're quite simple. I got some wood of pine and I got some HDPE plastic in here. And I simply just do a silicone all around the edges and it's ready for use. No tape, no silicone spray or anything else. Just like this. And then I can do a cutting board or another project, project, you, you name it. Uh, I have them in different sizes. I have another one here right behind me. And if I want to do another size, I can simply just find a spacer, put it in, give it a silicone all around the edges and it's ready for use. So these ones, I I would say I'll use them nine out of 10 times when I'm doing some projects. Even if I just do it from a mold, I put the mold inside this one to make sure that if it's leaking, I don't get it on my table or on my floor, stuff like that. Because from here, I can just peel it off. I can show you the big one too. This is where I'm doing a cutting board, a river cutting board. So this is a piece of wood that's ready for use. Let's have a little knot. So I have my mold. I have sealed it with silicone all around. And we are ready. Put them in. Put some of these pieces. Clamp it down. Fill it up with epoxy. And you're set to go. And when it's cure, I just knock a few times on the back of it and it comes out. A new layer of silicone and it's ready to use again. So, my homemade, my DIU molds, I'm very happy for them and I'm used them in almost every of my epoxy projects. Number 10 on my list is the table I made out of HDPE plastic. And it's uh, a little big, so I can't show it here, but I will take you around so you can see it on the other side. So this is number 10 on my list. This is the table that I built out of HDPE plastic. And all my projects are made here. No matter what I'm doing, I put it on the table press because I don't want the epoxy anywhere else. And as you can see here, if I want something to go off, like we have here, I simply just take it, and peel it off. Easy as that. So with this table, I'm sure that I never have anything stick to the floor. and. Just to be sure, I have some plastic beneath it, right here. And yes, there's uh, some of my molds and I also have some silicone molds. Also got a heat blow, but those things are not using that much. So that was the 10 things I use most when I'm working with epoxy resin. I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. And if you like the video, then hit the like button so this video will spread to so many people as possible. And if you like it, maybe check out some of our other videos.